Oh man, mm. man, I love me some donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at you, got the sprinkles on you and everything. I ain't worried about nothing. It's all about me and you tonight, baby. It's just me and you. It's just me and you, oh baby. Mm. Mm. So good. Hey, wait. What's this? Why? One donut, man? Come on, man. And why did my hair get bigger? That don't make no sense. Okay, I got a request on how to make your character skinnier or fatter. And this is really easy to do um, with a smart bone. And I'm just going to use the uh, Pop Toogie base model. If you have Moho 12 Pro, uh, this is free in the uh, library. So just look up Pop Toogie. Um, or if you've made a character uh, using my um, tutorial, go ahead and just open that up. And I have a walk cycle right here of the character that's already built in. And I'm just going to go to the bone layer and I'm going to click add bone. I'll add a bone outside of the character right here. I'll turn down the strength and I'm gonna hit B. I'll just rename this um, weight gain and I'll go ahead and color it too just so I know um, what I'm working with. So I have weight gain right here and let me check and make sure it's not parented. I don't want it to be parented to the character so I'm just gonna click B, select it really quick, hit P and then just click off of the character just so it's floating by itself. So to do this, this is really, really easy. On frame zero, we'll go to actions and we'll click on smart bones and we'll create a new action and we'll call it weight gain. Make sure you spell it exactly the way that uh, you did on the bone. And if it's done correctly, it'll turn blue like this and we'll go to frame 12 or whatever frame you want, how long you want it to uh, do the transition. I'm just going to go to 12. And first thing I'm going to do is I'll hit T and I'll just rotate the bone to the left. I'm holding shift down so it just clicks to a 90 degree angle. And while we're still on frame 12, let's go ahead and just make our uh, character a little different. I'll start with the torso. Now I have mine in... Uh, switch layers. So there's a t-shirt, a collared shirt, and all these other things. We're just going to do the shirt for now. If you want this smart action to work, or smart bone to work for each one, you're going to have to go to every single one of those and change them. But we'll just do the t-shirt for now. I'll hit T and go ahead and just stretch out these points, make them a little fatter. Um... And I'm trying to keep all of the uh, positions of the bones in the same place or the pivot areas. So like if I'm going to change the uh, arm, well, I'll show you here in just a second. Let me just go ahead and morph that. Let's go ahead and grab his waist. Make, oops. Make that a little fatter. And just move some of the points around and I'll go into the leg I have the front leg and what I mean by is keeping the um, pivot points in the same place you can see this the leg is made of two shapes I'm gonna hit G and select the uh, all the points around the shapes so it's uh, selecting from the top and the bottom shape I'm gonna hit T and then I'm going to expand it and make it bigger, but I'm going to hold Option down also. As you can see, the reason I'm doing this is so that this center point stays in the exact same place. That way the uh, leg will bend correctly even if we're making the leg bigger or smaller. So I'm going to make the knee bigger. And then the points up at the top and bottom, we can just move around because they're going to the pivot point is going to stay in the same place. Let me hide that uh, front arm for a second so I can see.
pull that out. Let's go back into the shirt. Make that a little wider too. In the back. So we can see. And then I'll just continue to do that with everything else. Let's go into the arm. And the front arm. And like I said, you'll have to do this. If you have switch layers, you'll have to do it in each one of them. So I'm just going to expand the sleeve. Keeping this pivot point the same. And make the arms bigger. And the wrist. I'll even curve these out some. And then again, hitting G and selecting the points around the pivot and just making sure that this bend is in the same place. I'm holding Option down while I'm expanding it, just so it's a lot bigger, but still in the same place. That way you don't have to re-rig anything. Um, now, I have faces. My characters have uh, a different bone layer. For faces just because I like to animate them separately um, that's not always the case but for that in case you want to do the face too we're gonna have to go back out I'll double click in the timeline so now I have my character walking you can see if I am selecting my bone layer and using that weight gain um, I'll click it and then on 96 I'll turn it and then you can see my character just starts to grow the animation stays the same And since the uh, face layer is in a different bone layer, we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to create a different one. Click my face layer. It has a different set of bones. You can see the mouth and the eyebrow expression and all that stuff. Um, we'll do the same thing. Hit A. Add a new bone. I'll just put it right next to this one. Take the strength down. Hit B. I'll color this one also, show label, and we'll just call it weight gain face. And let me move it a little bit more so you can see it better. And with the bone layer, or the face layer selected, or the bone layer, uh, do the same thing, smart bones, new action, weight gain face. We'll also do transition to 12 or transform to 12 and I'll go ahead and rotate the bone and then go into the face, the one that I have currently. Change the head shape. Just make him a little fatter. Head bigger. Double click back into the timeline. So let's see where we had our transition. We started on frame 74. So I'll go into my other bone layer, the face. Hit T, click on that, and it changes to 96. Make that bigger. And you can see our character just changes from uh, thinner to <laughs> thicker <laughs> to fatter. Um, and you can do this at any time. And you can do the opposite. Um, we could go back to frame zero and click on our first bone layer, the character one. And we'll go ahead and do new action. We'll call this weight gain and then space two. So this is the second bone act or smart bone action. We'll go to frame 12 again, hit T, and we'll turn it to the uh, left this time, and turn it all the way there, and do the same thing. Do just change some of the uh, points. We'll go to the uh, top first. T-shirt, and we'll just make him skinnier. Like he needs a sandwich. And 
Change the waist. Now this is tricky just because um, I'm moving the points beyond the the uh, where the legs are. So let's go. Let's change this real quick. Let's go into the legs, the front leg. Hit G. I'm gonna grab the points in the knee, shrink it down, holding option. And then I'll go ahead and grab these points here. And we'll just keep his the bottom of his pants the same just for time's sake. <clears throat> Let's do the back leg too, real quick. I know I didn't do the back leg on the weight gain one, but you guys get the idea. Shrink that. Yeah. Move some of these points around. And let's just do his front arm real quick too. <clears throat> Shrink that elbow area. Make his arms real skinny. And so you can use this for lots of things. It doesn't have to be weight gain. You can do this to transform uh, hair or do any, you know, just all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, let's see, oh, double click out, and then let's do the same for the face, so face bone layer, and we'll do a new action, smart bone action, weight, gain face, space 2, so we're creating the second action, go to frame 12, hit T, Turn that bone to the left, go into the face, and change the head shape. Oops. Now if you don't have enough points to do what you need, you're going to have to add them before you even start uh, doing any of these um, smart bone actions. So. Let's see. It's not too different, but I think that works. Double click in the timeline. So now we've got the character getting uh, fatter right here uh, between 70 something and 96. And then we'll go to 120. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, the weight gain bone, hit T, so it creates keyframe. Go to 140. 44. Let's turn the dial all the way back. So with a straight up, it's back to normal. Then if I keep going, it gets really skinny. We'll do the same for the face. Let me check and make sure. Okay, we start at 120 and end at 144. So I'll do the same thing. I'll hit T, select the weight gain on the face, go to 144, turn this all the way back. And his face gets really skinny. And again, this doesn't affect the animation at all. You can do this at any time and change the look of your character. Um, really, really easy. And that's it. So um, I hope this was a good tutorial for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And thanks again for watching.